Hi everyone. I hope you guys fine. Let's uh, summarize today's math class. Today we started exercise 11.1. Okay, this is the first exercise. In yesterday's class, you learned about uh, angles, half turn, quarter turn, and the uh, full turn. Okay, so let's talk about uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise. Before we start uh, this exercise, we need to find out what is clockwise and what is anti-clockwise. So here is the screen whiteboard. Let me draw Let me draw a circle for you. Okay, here is a circle. Can you see it? So when we move in the right way, this side, when we move this side from the right to left, like this way, we call this Clockwise, we call clockwise, like a clock. When you mm -hmm. see the time in the clock, you will see the hands on the clock move clockwise. Okay, like one, two, three, four, five. You will not see the, the opposite side. So this is, we call it clockwise. Let's see what is anti-clockwise. Now let me erase them. Okay, we have the same circle. So when you move from left to right, like this way, means the opposite side. Okay, from left, to right. We call it anti-clockwise. What we call it? Anti-clockwise. Okay, anti mean the left to right. And the clockwise means from right to left. Now, let's look at this example and uh, look at this girl. And uh, she's standing between different shapes like uh, a sphere. It's look like a circle football. Okay. And here is a cone. Here is cylinder. And here is cube. We have four shapes. So, which way should the child this child turn so she can see the cube. Now you have to guess which way the girl had to move to see the cubes, to see this cube. So what do you think, clockwise or anti-clockwise? So she could turn both ways to see the cube, okay? Clockwise and anti-clockwise. She can see both sides. How? Look at this. Now when she move court, uh, sorry, clockwise, she will see first sphere, then cone, then cube. Okay, and this way she can see first, when you see anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise, like this way, So she can see first uh, cylinder, then she can see the cube. So both sides are perfect to see this cube, but you can see more faster in the anti-clockwise. So guys, we learned that what is clockwise and anti-clockwise.
let's jump to the exercise. Okay, so here is a tortoise, okay? The tortoise always looks in the direction he is walking. He travels along the green path. So here is the tortoise and she want to move in the green path. This is the home of this tortoise. Now, how many times did he turn a quarter turn clockwise? Yes, you have to answer. How many times did he turn a quarter turn clockwise? So you have to look quarter turn. Okay, so what is a quarter turn? This is the first turn, first quarter, then second quarter, third, and fourth. So the tortoise will need four quarter turns to, to move in home, to move in his home. So guys, how many times did he, the tortoise, turn a quarter turn clockwise? Quarter turn clockwise, okay? So it will be one and two, okay? One and two, two will be clockwise and one and two will be anti-clockwise. So you have to answer two clockwise and two anti-clockwise. And how many right angles? Right angles mean the L shape. It can be different like, okay. So it's gonna be one, right? Okay, let's count how many right angles. One, then two, okay, then three and four. So there will be four right angles to move this turtle to his home. So you have to answer four. Okay, two, two and four. Okay, you have to color a different path to get the tortoise home. So how many quarter turn clockwise? Okay, you can make a, a home here. You have to choose one box like here. You can color this box green or color this box here green. Any, you can choose any uh, home here and find out tortoise home. So you can find how many quarter turns clockwise, how many quarter anti-clockwise, and how many all together, right? So this activity you can do at home. 